got it. Ah, 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 ah. All latched onto my finger. During the warm months of summer, the wetland ecosystems of the northeastern United States are a lush catacomb of plants and well-camouflaged animals. From a bird's eye view, the lily pads are so dense, it almost appears as if you could walk right across them. Yet just beneath the surface, a tangled maze of chaos would entangle any creature not perfectly suited to survive in this aquatic jungle. Today we are exploring a protected stretch of property in central Ohio. This private reserve is home to a variety of animals, including a slithering swamp serpent that is oftentimes wrongfully cast in a villainous role. My goal is to rewrite the script and teach you why this reptile should be respected and not feared. But to do so, first I must find and catch the elusive northern water snake. this out. Whoa. That is a little tiny painted turtle. That guy was just up on the embankment, also likely out absorbing some of the sunlight. He didn't even see us coming. Definitely didn't expect a predator to come from the water in towards the edge. Look how cute he is. All right, I'm gonna place him back. Believe it or not, a turtle of this size is the perfect meal for one of the northern water snakes that we're looking for. You stay safe out there, little buddy. Okay. The search continues. We continued on course, battling the thick grasp of dense vegetation as the sun beat down overhead. The conditions were perfect, but the snakes were nowhere to be seen. Uh, this environment, it's just so tough to move through. All of these lily pads just grab at your legs as you're moving through. And the problem is that I'm disturbing the environment a lot. Now these snakes can feel vibrations in the water. So as I approach, there could be one curled up on the lily pad who completely dive under the surface before I even got close. Let's check up here near these taller grasses. Maybe we'll have a chance. For a reptile, even a finely tuned predator like the water snake, staying perfectly camouflaged in the environment means survival on many levels. Not only does it keep them poised for an attack on any unsuspecting prey item, it also keeps them hidden from the sights of larger animals that would in turn love nothing more than to have a delicious snake lunch. In today's scenario, I am playing the role of a predator. And while I don't eat snakes, my would-be prey has finally been spotted. Mario, snake, 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 snake. All right, I'm making a move on it. Got it. Got it. I'm losing, I'm losing it. <sighs> ah, 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 ah. All latched onto my finger. Ah, oh boy. Ah, that's a big bite. Woo! Ah, ah. Latched onto my arm. Okay, well, that's what happens when you grab on to the northern water snake. You stand the chance. Ouch of taking a pretty good bite. That is a good sized snake right there. Wow. Oh boy. Yeah, I am definitely bleeding, but that is okay. We have got our snake. Wow. All right guys, let's get into a slightly more controlled setting and get this one up close for the cameras. Youch, took a bite on the finger and a full bite all across my arm. Yes, we got one. Oh, well, that was one arduous search, but we finally managed to catch a northern water snake. And in the process, I took a pretty nasty bite. And he also got a hold of the entire side 
of my forearm. Now, because the snake was in flight, I just had to dive and grab for it, and it was grabbing it by the back of the body, then unfortunately found me in the perfect position for this snake to strike and inflict a bite. But fear not, guys, this is a non-venomous species, which is oftentimes mistaken for the venomous water moccasin. Now, we have compared the banded water snake to the water moccasin before, but the reason I wanted to catch a northern water snake is look how dark in coloration this snake is almost no banding now when they're younger that banding is very distinct and as they get older it disappears and then they're just dark brown in coloration now, this is one of the most common aquatic snake species that you will find here in the northeastern united states and pretty good size they can get a bit bigger than this closer to four feet at full length i would guess that this is likely a male the females do grow larger than the males but nonetheless an absolutely gorgeous reptile. You can see now that it figures out that I'm not trying to eat it, I'm not clawing at it, I'm not biting it. It is completely calmed down. It is not striking. It is, it's musking a little bit, which means that it's pooping on me. That is a third defense mechanism. Obviously the first one is to flee. The second one is to fight so entails the bite and then of course pooping on your potential attacker is a worst case scenario but at this point the snake has pretty much figured out okay well nobody's trying to eat me so i'm gonna stay completely calm let me see if i can get just stretch out in my hands there look at that what a cool looking snake now like i said earlier this time of the day snakes are using the sun to heat up so that they can head out and hunt these lily pads are full of frogs small fish tadpoles and that is exactly what these snakes are going after i was able to sneak in and catch it which allows us to get it up close for the camera but they are voracious predators constantly searching for these other aquatic life forms to feast on now when you think of predators for a snake like this something that may come to mind is the great blue heron great blue herons oftentimes will catch snakes even of this size and gobble them down rather quickly but hopefully this guy can stay hidden out here in the lily pads. They've done a good job all morning eluding us from capture. Now we saw a couple of smaller ones earlier that just were too quick for me to catch, but that was simply a matter of being in the right place at the right time to get this reptile in front of the cameras. And you can see if I put my finger out just in front of his nose there, he's gonna stick out his tongue and that's him sensing me. And with that tongue, it is able to taste chemicals in the environment. And right now that snake is thinking, okay, well, we've got this camera here, we've got a camera there, we've got coyote holding on to me. Not something I can eat. So as long as I stay calm, I can build up my energy and then at any moment when he feels that there's an opportunity to escape, it will burst into action and try to flee back into the water. But right now, I've got it just perfectly positioned right there in my hand. Look at that. Now, one of the defense mechanisms of this snake, especially when they're angry and they're in aggressive mode, is they will puff up their bodies and their heads, which makes them look like the venomous water moccasin. And that's how oftentimes people will mistake this snake for that venomous species and unfortunately then think, ooh, it's dangerous, I should kill it. But the northern water snake is a completely harmless species. What a cool looking snake. Let me actually set it down into the water for a second so you can see just what they look like in the water. You see how it blends completely into the water like that? And what they will do is just slink through the grasses and the cattails. Look at that, you see how it just slowly moves? And actually like that in the water, you can see the banding is a little more prominent. And that banding, despite the fact that it is rather tough to see, does keep them camouflaged in between all of the plant matter, the light and the shadows. Look at that, look how they can just easily move through the grasses. Let me bring the snake back up here. Oh, oh. Get a little defensive now. I don't want to take another bite. Here we go, buddy. Now, if you guys go out there into a wetland environment and you see one of these snakes, I definitely do not recommend trying to catch it because while they may not be venomous, their bite is pretty painful. They have an anticoagulant in their saliva, which will cause you to bleed more than normal. As you can see, that blood is still coming out of my finger and out of my forearm. But if you do try to catch one and you are bitten, fear not, a little soap and water, a little first aid will clean that bite up and you'll be just fine. Well, despite the fact that the northern water snake is an incredibly common species, it sure did pose a challenge to find, catch, and get up close for the cameras. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Ooh, I think it's time to clean up that bite. No matter what the species, humans generally seem to fear snakes. Casting them as villains, the second one slithers across their path. Yet truth be told, 
these reptiles really want nothing more than to stay hidden from our sight. The northern water snake does have an aggressive temperament when tangled with, and they will readily bite to defend themselves, especially when put into the position where they become prey. So if one of these snakes does happen to cross your path, simply stand still, admire the moment, and recognize that to this reptile, you are the predator, and there is absolutely nothing to fear. If you want to overcome your fear of snakes, Learn about the differences between venomous and non-venomous species by watching the Water Snake vs. Water Moccasin episode. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. This is going to be slightly more dangerous. Oh.